Hey guys, we're going to spend a little bit of time in Photomator today and we're going to transform an otherwise very boring <laughs> landscape photograph into a nice dramatic black and white, dare I say, fine art star photograph. We're going to convert it to black and white. We're going to crank up the clarity and the contrast to make it super punchy. It's a very simple process. We don't require the use of any masks. We can do it all within the global adjustments in Photometer. So let's get on the Mac and I'll walk you through it. So here's our original image that we're going to be working on. So whilst this is a lovely subject, very muted skies, quite boring looking colours, very flat tonally. It is, in, in other words, an ideal candidate for that punchy, high contrast, fine art makeover. So let's get into it. Click on the edit. And as I mentioned, we're going to accomplish everything with global adjustments. No need for masks. And the first thing I'm going to do is bring the contrast up quite substantially. The key to making this work is to lay on that contrast with a spade. Get loads of it in there in terms of contrast, clarity, and texture. Now, I also want to move the black point further into the dynamic range. Watch the histogram as I nudge it in. We're also going to bring the texture up just a tad on there, maybe 5%. And let's lay on some of this clarity. Watch what happens. But wait, we need more clarity. Only in the mid-tones, though. Not in the shadows or the highlights. Definitely not the highlights, because we're going to be basically removing them in a minute. So let's bring the old texture slider up. About 25% looks good. And way more. Another 75% in the mid-tones. And I think it's now time to convert it to black and white. So we'll come down to the black and white tool. When you convert from color to black and white, you still have access to the red, green, and blue channels, of course. And that enables you to vary the brightness levels of those channels to better complete the conversion. Now, if I turn this back off for a second, you can see, obviously, we've got this great big portion of greenery here. So I want to increase the contrast and i can do that by targeting that green channel sliding to the left lowers the brightness and i'm also going to increase the brightness to the red and the blue channels okay so now it's time to wheel out our secret weapon which is the old friend of ours the curves tool and we're going to use this to target the top end of the dynamic range to get rid of these horrible looking gray clouds which are totally ruining our lovely high contrast scene and a very simple way of doing that i'm just going to drag that white point all the way over there watch the clouds just disappear now you have to be careful you don't take this too far or you get something like that and i'm also going to bring the other end in as well just to complement that contrast we're almost there I think the only two things we need to do is add a vignette and some sharpening. Let's put the sharpening on first, radius 2.5. Bring that down very slightly. And let's stick our vignette on there. Don't need anything that heavy, that's for sure. 15% there, bring the black point down. And let's soften it off just a little bit too. Well, it's looking good somewhere around there. And I think that that will do us. So let's do the old before and after. That's where we started. A nice composition, but very boring light. And we have just with a little bit of basically the black and white tool and curves and a heap of clarity to really crank up the contrast have converted it to this. I think it would look beautiful in a a matted frame. So there you go. I'm sure you'll agree. It's quite a dramatic transformation. I was looking at it actually and thinking it'd make a really nice 
greetings card, uh, a cover for a card because there's plenty of white space in that nice white sky. I put some text. Anyway, some food for thought there. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial in Photomator. If you did, please do give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more drone, photo and video content from me. Till the next time, guys. Ta-ta.